Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had kind of meandered, trying to figure out quests to do, more or less, and I figured I'd start with the one I assume starts here, uh, with uh, the shenanigans involved with the gravestone which we've interacted with once, bef once before, but died. Uh, <laughs> rather, I should say. Uh, but we'll see how it goes this time. Now, off camera, I did it a couple of times just to see if it was possible. And there was one situation where it was a basically a Pyrrhic victory because I blew through so many supplies at that point. But I did eventually win. So. There's that. So we're going to try and recreate that again. <laughs> Here's hoping I can. We disturb the wards. Alright. This is going to be where the fun begins. And he's already dead. All right, that's not good. And I'm gonna need a quick heal for myself. Okay. Up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need a quick heal again. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's not gonna last at this rate, but it's working. I have that going for me. It's working, and at least two people are alive this time. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm going through health drinks as soon as I get hit. Alright. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? And I think we're done with this. With two people alive instead of one. Which is better than the last time I tried. So Managed to semi work out. Juggernaut plate and a Tevinter shield. Interesting. Compare that to the stuff that Alistair is running. It needs a lot more strength than what he's currently wielding. And he doesn't get anything special out of it. Like, at all. There's there's no point, in fact. The defense is lower. The fucking... Missile deflection is higher, but that's about it. And, well, and the fatigue percentage is lower. So, there's that. But it doesn't help much else more than that. And I realized, I swear, <laughs> in the first four minutes of the episode. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just take all of that. Juggernaut plate. I realize I didn't actually look at that either. Um, juggernaut plate boots. Um, let's compare them. <laughs> They're massive boots. Needing 38 strength. They at least give a lot of resistances on top of the armor, but wow. Yeesh. All right. Well, there we go. We did it. Kind of. Uh, like I said, Pyrrhic victory. It was not exactly what I had in mind. 
But it worked out, which is the important part. Worked out better than the last time. Uh, shield what? defense. And... Yes. There. And I guess we could do precise striking, maybe? Yeah, that's all good. Shield cover. Shield cover again. Uh, okay. Well... If I'm doing that, then... Yeah, that's almost... Yeah, there's no point. Okay. Well, we're good here. I think. And that completes the forest. <laughs> the Brazilian forest section of that thing. I think. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm going to check, though, if that other that other thing doesn't also allow me to mess with it. Because so I remember there was a tombstone here as well. But... Familiar warding runes. Oh, so now that I've defeated the one there, it'll let me do this one. Huh. And it was a Pyrrhic victory the last time. But I did keep two people alive this time. So... Let's try it. Got it. I love how desperate you are. Oh, great. It's another Revenant. Oh... I died. I died fast. Alright, well. Well. All of my melee people are dead. Now. And there was no hope. Your journey ends. You don't say. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I'm right back here. Okay, this is going to be harder than I thought. <sighs> I don't think there's any completing this until I'm later in level. I don't think there's any way I can do this. Nah, I think I'm... An SOL on that one. Um, hmm. Burn of Sacred Ashes. Companions. Uh, everything brings me back to Denerim. Man. Okay. Places of power. Yeah, I'm just not going to be able to do that. Notice a term termination. Okay. Two of them are found in Denerum. The other is procuring... Procuring. Procuring. Man, that word is difficult when you're not awake yet. <laughs> An item from Orzammar. Hmm. Travel to Soldier's Peak and a King's Confidant. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get out of here, is what I'm learning, because nowhere, nowhere am I going to be able to get missions done. 
without having to go to the main map. So, I guess we do that. No, which direction do I go? I don't remember. Ah, well. Technically, I could go this way. Alrighty. Just need to get out of here. Wait a second. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Just standing there. Didn't expect that. Alrighty. And we just need to get out of here. Really? Hmm. Southeast forest. No, I need to get out of here. It's like pure out. O U T out. <sighs> Where would I go to do that, though? It's not this direction, I don't think. No, it is not. Let's go back up and away this way. <sighs> Navigating this forest is difficult, if not impossible. <sighs> Alright, and I guess either way would work. Okay, up we go. And out we go. To the Dalish camp. Huh. I didn't expect it to take me to the Dalish camp. <laughs> but okay. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. I'm sure you do. Should I talk to her about her buddies who confronted me in the forest? Let us pray to the creators, Lethaline. All Father, may you forgive our part in this tragedy. Would our sons and daughters have died if not for our pride? Falandine, friend of the dead, may you guide our sons and daughters safely into the beyond. And most of all, he who hunts alone, the dread wolf. He will come for us in the end, but today he turned a blind eye. And for that, we are thankful, for we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost lore, the walkers of the lonely path, and never again shall we submit. Hmm. Not what I expected, but... Cool. Very cool. Now let's actually get out of here, There's one huh? thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing. About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort who knows all about deception. I do. And what use the deception might have had ended when King Kalen perished, did it not? Maybe. I guess I was sort of hoping that would go away. The truth does not go away. I didn't say it was a good plan. Yeah, you did. You did not say that that is true soldiers peak and ban lawrence forests i don't remember those being in gold actually or maybe i just wasn't paying attention it's entirely possible uh it's got a ban lawrence lands why not
You're surprised to recognize the uniform of King Kalen's honor guard. A memory comes to you. You fought alongside this man at Ostagar. Take a closer look at the guards. The guards wear the uniform of Ban Loren, a minor lord well-known and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. Okay, a guy who will just take whatever side he thinks is winning. Let's join the fray. What? Motherfucker! What the hell? What did he do? There we go. Okay, well, um... Really? Really? Anyway? Alright. Alright. There. No chance. No chance at all. <sighs> well studded leather boots. Elric, up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember him as Elric Moraine. A member of Kalen's honor guard at Ostergar and a close confidant of the king. Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostergar. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. You deserted? I dare say most people think the same of you and me, if not worse. I fled That's the fair. battlefield when Loghain betrayed us. I abandoned my men, and they died. And Caelan with them. He was my king, my friend, maker. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. We don't always get to choose our deaths. No, perhaps not. But I've been given the chance to set things right. If it's the likes of you who sees me to my final hour, perhaps things happen for a reason. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the wardens. Why didn't he just give the key to Duncan? He didn't get the chance. Duncan was so busy with the new recruits and keeping Loghain at bay. Whatever his reasoning, it's me Kaelin entrusted it to. Do you still have this key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. Why am I not surprised? Is there someone else we should be bringing back from the brink of death instead? I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. Where? The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. Hmm. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. Okay. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark spawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. No, you're right. It is vital that the king's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the king's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the dark spawn's filth. No, you're right. Return to Ostagar. Okay. Well. That went a direction I didn't actually expect. Like, at all, really. 
in the slightest. Then again, I wasn't intending on doing this right now. But now we go back to Ostagar. Flemeth's hut. All right. Yes, we're going to Ostagar. It's really the only option we have. Although, I'm looking at my computer, seeing it freak out for some reason. Not sure why that is. But it's done, so okay. Just <laughs> making sure it wasn't fucking with the recording. Rather uneventful trips. Not what I'm used to. No end to these blasted things. No, there would be. Now it's better than me. All right. There we go. And that was quick. And that was the noise. Got to hand it to the Darkspawn. They sure know how to make a place feel desolate and foreboding. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of do a good job at that. I give them that much. I'll get on it. All right. Well. So far, so good. There we go, perfect. Now it's better than later. Got some opponents on the far end here. And we got some gen locks here. Now it's better than later. And quick damage. Urlock Strider. Oh boy. You definitely the big target I should be focused on. Okay. This red mark's probably not good. Venom, okay. Yeah, I was right. The red mark isn't good. But I can't seem to shake it. Thank you. Thank you for the eventual heal. Is there a way I can go up this? No. Figured I'd check, make sure. Wooden crate with a garnet in it. Weird, but okay. And the Strider has Kalen's Greaves. Oh. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. But it's clearly Kalen's. There can be no doubt. Shit. So his body was looted as well. On top of everything. Joining Chalice. Sheesh. Studded leather boots. Whew. Man, oh man, oh man. Didn't expect to get hit with this, but... Kalen's Greaves. It was massive armor, so I mean... It, it does have the description right, at least. Alright. No end to these blasted things. No, there isn't. But that's what that's to be expected. Isn't it? There we go. And we're doing good so far. Key phrase so far. 
Genlock Forge Master. Oop. That is rather impressive that he's able to hold us off from a distance like that. Okay. Assuming the Forge Master has something for me as well. No? Okay. Surprising. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. She needs help. Alright. She really... Yep, there was no way. There was no way. It was not going to get any better. And it's not going to get any better because now I'm dead. Well, that went badly. Okay. Uh. Yep. That was just going badly from the start. <sighs> okay. Well, we start from where we started from here, but it's not going to be that difficult to fight. Yeah, worked out. Got to hand it to the dark spawn. They sure know how to make a place feel desolate. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely do know how to do that. Let's look at the pile of sacks again. Okay. It's an axe. And we fight our way over this way. Hmm. Dark spawn. They just crop up everywhere, don't they? Yeah. Now is better than later. <laughs> Unfortunately, what they're good at. There we go. Okay. Oh! That was impressively strong. Okay. So far, so good. This fight is at least going as good as it did last time. <sighs> Could have been worse, anyway. Got money off of them. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. But it's clearly Kalen's. There can be no doubt. Mm -hmm. Money off of this one. Well, we're definitely getting more loot. Or at least loot opportunities. Maybe not necessarily the same loot. Garnet? Okay, well. Somewhat the same opportunities. Okay, and the joining chalice, yep. And the pile of sacks, yep. Okay. And... Twisted creatures, slay them all! Yep. And we got more of them coming. There we go. Right. 
Okay. So far, so good. This guy. This guy right here. Yes. Generally annoying. Alright, and we're not going to fall for that again. Because, yeah, I know some more are coming. I'm not going to get caught with my pants down again. There we go. This way, we can at least focus our efforts. Oh, big guy. Uh, oh, oh geez. Is it only getting those ones? That's not good. Alright. Well. This is... At least an attempt that didn't get everyone killed. There's that. Yeah, there's something on the other side there. Interesting. And the uh, Herlock Alpha had a lot of money. That's really about it. This one had some decent money too. Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, I'll try it. Finished. Studded leather helmet. Oh boy. Well, at least we got something out of it. And on this side, we got the buried key. Key to the royal arms chest. Alright. Okay. So we're just a little bit closer to the goal. And with that in mind, I'm going to save real quick. <laughs> Give me just a second. Okay, alright, that's done, and now... Huh, I don't know where else to go. So far, anyway. So we did the one thing. Genlock Forge Master. Heavy Chain Mail. That is an upgrade for my current... No. It's exactly what I'm wearing right now. God, it's... Damn it, an exact copy. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I was so happy. I thought I finally had an upgrade <laughs> for the things that I couldn't upgrade at the time. Oh. Oh, you little shits. You little bastards. You little bastards. Oh, Jesus. Again. He keeps dying so fast. How am I supposed to save his ass if he dies that quickly? Okay. You are not drinking the... Potion I told you to drink, goddammit. Alright. There we go. Alright, now we focus on the band going here. Whoo! Okay. Alright, and he is up to two <laughs> injuries. All right, uh, let's get him that injury kit. There you go. Better. And we're good. <sighs> okay, Genlock. The dead in Mabari. This, oh, Swift Runner War Paint. Firestone Harness. Oh, no. The Vanguard here. With Kaylin's shield. Kite shield. Really big, requires strength. 
but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. Kaelin's shield. Very unfortunate trip down bad memory lane. That's what this is. This was the big, big fire before. Jeez. Oh, Kaylin's chest. Merrick's Blade and Secret Correspondence. A bundle of documents comprised mostly of private correspondence to and from King Kalen. Done. Anything Judging else? by these documents, it's a pity we hadn't placed more trust in Orlais and less in the King's own father-in-law. Blades like that inspire songs that last the ages. Well, I'm very curious to look at the blade now. All right. Compared to Oathkeeper, Merrick's Blade. Oh, boy. Look at that. I did not mean to move that to check. Oh, no, 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 no. What the, what the fuck? That was not what I did either. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my brain is broken at the good loot. So, just can't focus. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so good, though. Holy shit. It's critical chance, armor penetration, strength modifier. Plus 1.5 health regeneration in combat. Weakens nearby dark spawn. 1.5 stamina regeneration in combat. And 6 plus damage versus dark spawn. Oh boy. Runes glow along the length of this mighty blade. King Merrick, father to King Kaelin, bore it in his battles against Orlais. When equipped with a set in a set with Kaelin's shield... The character gains bonuses to damage and to stamina regeneration while in combat. Wow. Okay. Alright. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, equip... Oh, that's a cool look. That's a cool looking sword. Okay. Alright. So, due to that little oopsie doodle I was doing, um, <laughs> I'm assuming that I am a little too flabbergasted with loot to function. <laughs> so, to give myself time to calm down, I'm just going to end the episode and we'll move on to the next one in a bit. But, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you're like, <clears throat> my throat's starting to give out. Mm. Okay, so let's try that again. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games and play together. And I will see you all in the next episode. I screwed it up, but screw it. I'm not going to get a better take than that. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to uh, put together, you know, the events of Ostagar after the, uh, the army collapsed on itself. And uh, at the same time, more or less, getting some pretty damn decent loot. So... We'll see how the trip down memory lane goes. 
Bad memory lane. Ugh. I can speak English. Really, I can. It's just flustered by the fact that there's so much good shit here, too. And it's an opportunity to kind of reflect, which is one you typically don't get very often in this sort of situation. So, going to take it for you.